That's episode of the day, and on this particular one, we are on the church reality vlogs, and we are talking about one of the housewives in the real housewives of Durban. Uh, there's an article that is written on the Daily Sun today. They are saying she's there to debunk the claims that people are saying that she wants to start a church. <laughs> she says hey, she wants. To, they, she says people are saying that she wants to start a church. So she's there to debunk these claims and all that. Now. It's what goes on in this article that I wanted to address it. It's actually a little vlogs, as I said. If it's your first time over here, do check out the rest of the channel. Might like what we do here. We do a social commentary. We speak about everything else that is happening outside in the social world. And we deal with it without deviating from our Christian values. That is kind of like the theme of this channel. If you haven't seen the first channel, I am Bali. <laughs> if you don't know it, don't worry. Continue here, subscribe, and I'll see you on to the next episode. Now, let's start here with this lady's entire hoches. This is Nungu. Today, it is my event, my long-anticipated wine launch. She is starting, she was starting a wine something. That's it. She was there starting a wine something. <laughs> She said, there's a very funny dodgy pictures on her, of her online. Hey, kind of like she's a party, you know, with a party and doing what, what, what. Now, in the article, she then says, you know what? People like to assume that because I don't live like a past, you know, slash, hammer, <laughs> comma, I am actually. This is no, actually, I am a past. It's just that, you know, my life doesn't align. <laughs> That's literally what she was saying in the article. She was like, no, my life doesn't align. But... I'm not perfect, but <laughs> but who is it that puts you within the places that you put yourself? It's you, isn't it? And so you are disqualifying yourself by putting yourself in those particular positions. Those positions where you have put yourself, you are disqualifying yourself by the places where you have put yourself. This is something that I think needs to be said. Being a social media influencer does not make you a pastor. Because you have a following online does not make you a pastor. Because this channel has 70,000 subscribers does not make me a pastor. I'm not a pastor. I'm not called to be a pastor. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week. You know, all these people, I've you noticed all these people who are in social media thing, they have a following, they become a pastor. They have a thing, gospel musicians. They sing, they become a pastor. Okay? Now, I know that there are, there are actually gospel musicians who were pastors who then went on to actually advance into musicians. But a lot of them, some of them, they start as a gospel musician, they build a following, they start a church. It's not an automatic, this equals to this. This is where we get all these funny, weird doctrines. Because people assume a following. And another thing, being rich doesn't make you a pastor. Because why? You will take your mentality from your business and then you bring it to church. I've been in a church like I've been in churches like that, where the pastor is a businessman. Before you know it, how he preaches, what he believes, how he conducts himself, it's all about him being a businessman. This has created a lot of false doctrines. There's a lot of this type of individuals. Like it's like all these things of pastors who pass away, their kids take over the church. The kid is not called, but the kid has hung around Christians so, so much that he feels he is called. Then he comes there preaching motivational thing. You can do it, man. You can do it. <laughs> they think that's the gospel. <laughs> Friends, sit down. <laughs> so, which is the same thing that I'm seeing with this lady here. Is she really called? Are you sure? No, I'm not questioning you. You can answer yourself. You can really answer yourself. Having a social media following does not make you a pastor. Being rich does not make you a pastor. So now you have people like Abu Nuto, they go to church, they feel very much welcome, they feel, you know, they feel good. And when they feel good, they feel like they feel good means you are a pastor. You know, I feel at home. No, we all feel at home. <laughs> I feel at home. <laughs> Calm down. We all feel at home when we are at church. Okay? Yes. But that does not make you a pastor. You have a following. Now you feel like, you, you remember Dinora Nak. She now has a following. Now she felt like she could preach. At one particular point, she was now started reading the Bible. I'm like, what is this one doing? 
leave the Bible. Very quickly, did you see? It didn't even last. <laughs> she read a verse or two. Okay. She stopped. Why? Because they claim something that they are not. All they have is a following. That's it. I claim me, I have a burning for the gospel. <laughs> burning for the gospel, you have three weeks without preaching. <laughs> <laughs> my brother are you sure you're a businessman go do business <laughs> go do business leave everything leave church leave church because you start carrying things that you have not that have nothing to do with it's time we actually say these things because people just assume having a following means they are past you are not you are not you have a burning for the gospel no you are very charismatic you know how to change your voice up it pitch it up that's all you know but you are not called People should face reality. It's nice to be a church member. Go there, sit down. It's nice, man. You should try it. It feels good. Go there, do nothing. <laughs> must you do something? You be in the county. You must be somewhere, somewhere. We must see you somewhere. Having a following on social media does not make you a pastor. <laughs>